everybody. Welcome. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Oh, let's tilt that over some. Greetings. Hey, what's up, Jay? How are you today? How's the week treating you? Hope it's treating you good. It seems to be going by real quick, so yeah. Has everything been going smoothly for you at work? Um, hopefully, um, no problems, no hospital visits, tetanus shots. Don't need you to get any more shots. No more shots for you. Greetings, salutations, everyone. How are you? Let me tilt this up a bit. I'm sure it's looking at my chin. There we go. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful week. We are exactly... Um, one week into our Kickstarter for a Lady Death, and holy crap, uh, you guys really love our Kickstarters, because Jiminy Cricket, it's, I've been helping out on uh, answering um, add-ons and other questions folks have, and oh my god, it just seems to never, we never seem to hit the end. Once we do, it's like within a few hours, it's got 40 to 60 messages, so... Be patient, everybody. We're getting to you. Uh, Moonshine and Nick and everyone else is uh, off-site helping out, jumping in to get your uh, messages uh, replied to. So just be patient. We're getting there. There's just so many of you, uh, which is really an awesome thing to have. So thank you guys for the support. Thank you for all the add-ons. Thank you for just all the amazing stuff you do here at Coffin Comics. And thank you for spreading the love that you guys have for Coffin Comics, Lady Death, and all things that Brian has created. I've seen some amazing posts, read some really great things from y'all, and um, uh, I am so glad I am here, uh, home, at Coffin Comics. Um, before, uh, when I interviewed with uh, Brian and Fran two years ago, um, uh, Brian texted me something that really made me stop and think, and... Um, he said, you need to come home, and he's right, and home is right here at Coffin Comics, so I'm glad I'm here, I'm glad to be a part of this, and I'm glad I've got to meet so many of you uh, in my time here, so um, I salute you all, guys. Thank you very much for your support. Karen, how are you? Um, it's good to be busy because your day will go by quicker. No problem. Speaking of emails, Jay... In a little bit, I have it right here, your pledge that you and uh, Bob Chronister uh, worked on together. And I definitely plan to read that to you all, um, if you guys like. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, it's been a really great week. Uh, the Kickstarter is going off really well. We just announced, by the way, a brand new item you can add on. It'll be a limit of two per household. For this item, there's only 99 available. We just dropped it at 11 a.m. Um, beautiful piece. This is Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty Shy Metallic by Elias Chetzuda. This just dropped on Kickstarter. This is a new add-on. This is a real beautiful piece, guys. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So, what does that mean? <laughs> it means I got 99 out there for the Kickstarter. Check it out, guys. Get it. Email us at kickstarter.com. Click on the link. Look up Brian Polito's Cataclysm of Majesty if you haven't joined. Set up a Kickstarter account. Join in today. Get some of these exclusives while we still have some available. Because we usually tend, especially on this metal, we tend to sell out of these fairly quickly. So I'm going to say um, maybe 48 hours these will last. There's only 99. It's an add-on right now. Limit of two per household. So, folks, you love Elias Chetzuda? I know there's some fans there. Anytime we introduce something new piece, folks go nuts. So now's your chance. Metallic Shy Edition. Or shy metallic. I flipped that around. <laughs> Dyslexia. Yeah. Wayne, go get some. You get that pop. 25 a $100 pledge. 
Uh, you can also add on to your current pledge. It's really easy to do, guys. You message us uh, and say, hey, I would like to add 25A or 25 or whatever number of item you want to add on. Message us. Mel, myself, Nick, uh, even Fran will jump in. We'll go ahead and say, hey, we got your message. We reserve those add-ons for you. And then we'll send you a, a nice little instruction how to get that pledge adjusted. You reply back to us, said, hey, I made my adjustment. Can you update my notes? And we will definitely do that. That's how you do an add-on. Not only that, when you back us, you get your number, your backer number on a little um, ticket. We'll put that in the cauldron when we do cauldrons, and you can receive an extra item just for backing us by us pulling your number. Could be an ash can, could be a mock-up. Who knows? Brian's always got some amazing stuff coming your way. So we're only one week in. We got three more weeks to go. Lots of fun, lots of surprises, and thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, we, we really try to pride ourselves on giving everyone the best customer experience they can get um so thank you I, i'm glad i'm glad you noticed that i really appreciate it um the elias says that you, i you know what i say you could be correct 24 hours on these metals because uh the elias books do really well and it's a metal i can't wait to make them because i make the metal covers and the metal drill covers and the lenticular covers. So I'm going to be busy once all these books start coming in. So thank you guys for keeping me really busy uh, making this stuff. It's a lot of fun. On to the pledge. That's right. Jay Taylor and Bob Cronister worked together and he wanted to come up with the sworn pledge. Um, he wanted Brian to look at it, make sure it's okay, because he didn't want to post something that... Um, uh, just might not perceived well, but Brian really liked it. It's really well done. <clears throat> I will say it in my most coughing comics patriotic voice I can. We pledge that we are sworn to the black, to coffin and all that it brings. We stand strong for sworn nation and the fiends that dwell within. Fans of the books, the culture, and arch fiend. The community of us and you. Sworn! I think we will say that. We're sworn over our hearts. Thank you, Jay and Bob Cronister. Thank you very much. Guys, keep these fun little messages. This is the, at least the third or fourth thing Jay has sent me. Mostly it's been poems. He wanted to do this pledge, and I enjoy reading them out to you. Another thing we just announced... You can pre-order Lady Death, Malevolent, Decimation. These are the comic book shop market editions. There are four, five in the set. You can order them individually. So, here's what we got. This is the uh, standard edition cover with Don McTague. This is available now. If you're calling me, I won't be able to answer you because I am doing a live video. And you can order these individually, and we also have a set available. And if you want to see our books in your local comic shop, heck, tell them I want Coffin Comics in my co uh, comic shop. I want to see their books on the wall when I go in shopping. So, this is a good chance to talk to your comic shop owners like, hey, do you have an account with Coffin Comics? Send them to inquiries at coffincomics.com. We'll set up an account for them uh, and uh, get the ball rolling so you can see more Coffin Comics in your local comic shop. Onwards and upwards. Number two that we are offering on the Lady Death Malevolent Decimation. This is the comic shop. This is the Splash Edition by Mike Chrome. Beautiful, beautiful piece, guys. These are the comic shop markets. For Lady Death Malevolent Decimation, which will be hitting stores in May. May 26th is the uh, in-store date, just so you know, May 26th. But wait, what else do we got? Well, how about a premium foil, and I've never seen one by this artist, so I'm excited to see it. 
This is the Malevolent Decimation 2. This is the Comic Shop Premium Foil Edition by Dan the Mendoza. This I cannot wait to see. I've yet to see um, any of his covers he's done with us uh, with foil. Uh, I've seen metal. I think I might have seen a metallic jewel. I don't know, but uh, I'm really excited to see this. So, Mendoza fans, one of the variant covers, the Malevolent Decimation 2 Premium Foil Edition, is going to be by Dan. But wait, we've got any more, and I'm going to have the worst time saying this gentleman's name because I always do. This is Malevolent Decimation number two. This is the Comic Shop Naughty Edition. Beautiful. This is done uh, by Lorenza Sperlonga. I hope I pronounced that right. If not, I apologize. But, if you order the set, you get the Elite Edition, which is done by Jesse Witchman, which is that cute little photo right there. Boom. That is the Elite Edition. You can only get it by ordering a complete set. So that's some of the stuff uh, we've just uploaded on the store. Now let's get on to the catacombs. I hope you guys like what I got. Uh, Ace, welcome. Josh, how are you? Chilling on the beach. Looking at camera footage. That sounds really boring, Jay. Everybody, thank you for joining in. Josh, Josh, everybody, thank you guys. We, also, another thing I really saw, and I want to mention this real quickly. I really like that we're getting all these new readers and how you guys are so welcoming to these new readers. Or a lot of them are readers that were from the chaos era and they just realized Lady Death is back. I got to jump in on that fun. And you guys are the most accepting group I've seen. Thank you guys. Really appreciate you helping build the community and just really, just being really cool people that I know you are because we have the coolest fans in the world, Coffin Comics fans. Thank you guys. Let's get you showing some pretty things I got for you today. Let's start off with a couple vault books. How's about Blasphemy Anthem Metallic Jewel Edition, number four and number six. Four and six are available right now on the catacombs. Click on the link. I'll take you over there. Also, if you're wanting to jump in on a Kickstarter, there is a link there. So you can click on the Kickstarter. If you don't have an account, you get everything set up and we'll get you all taken care of. Some great stuff is available on this Kickstarter. And there will be more. We're only one week down. Next up, this is an AP, AP3 to be exact. This is Lady Death Killers, Amazing Metal Edition. Love this. I love looking at the old uh, metal covers we used to do in the past previously. This is really cool, guys. Um, this is a wonderful homage by Marat Michaels after the legendary Jack Kirby. Next up, I got a mock-up. Mock up for you. Okay, there's my singing for you. This is Hell Witch, Hellborn, number one. This is a hollow foil mock up. Hollow foil mock up. Colette Turner is the art. Oh, no, J Jamie Tendall is the artist. Look, this is beautiful. I love how the foil reflects the light and just adds just extra beauty to this. Um,. The original copies that we made that we offered were um, square bound like most of our uh, Kickstarter books. Number three, number three. I got a number three edition. I pulled it for you. Presented it to you. Hey, I'm going to try to do an episode where I sing the whole way. Don't know how I'm going to pull that off, but I'm thinking about it because, you know, I'm nuts. Um, this is Lady Death, Mischief Knight, Monster of Deathenstein. All for you. Again, look at how that light reflects off of that book. <whistles> Beautiful. Beautiful. Get it, guys. Stephen Butler, Dan Feldmeyer. This is an homage. God, this is a really beautiful cover. Love the uh, time when we were doing variant covers with... Um, uh, Bride of Frankenstein and stuff like that. It's beautiful stuff. I got a classic. 
a classic, and it's a number three edition, old school cop and comics. This is Lady Death Killers. This is the sleep edition, and it is a number three. If she's sleeping like that, stunning! <laughs> really beautiful. Ivan Reyes is the cover artist. Let's see if anyone has any more questions. What? Oh, come on, Ace. Really? <laughs> Eric, welcome to the show. Miguel, how are you? How's it going, guys? Thank you for coming. Carmen, always a pleasure to see your name popping up. All right, next up, I've added more scratch and dent. Get ready, folks. This is Scorched Earth number two, standard edition from the comic shop market. Boom. Click on the links to do your shopping. Got some nice scratch and dent stock I just loaded up. And if you think it disappears from the catacombs, it does not. It actually goes into the scratch and dent landing page until I'm sold out. Um, I've got some really, really cool ones here for everybody, including, this is Scorched Earth number two. This is the premium foil edition. Another Jamie Tindall piece here, guys. I really love the red uh, foil on the text, but mostly on the bats. I just absolutely love the bats, how that reflects them. Yes, that's stunning. These are scratch and dent items, guys. Really good deals. You're like, oh, God, they got a Kickstarter. They got this coming. Well, you know what? I load up some nice deals for you guys. So uh, it is a little something extra. And only that, what's great about scratch and dent, you can loan them out and not worry about your collectible being stolen or damaged. Good reader copies here. This is Scorched Earth number two. This is the Naughty Edition. Matt Merhoff. Boom. And I remembered censorship bars today. Yay. Sorry, I know some people like the boobies. My, my little censorship thing is coming off. I noticed something. Um, sticky tabs. They're not very sticky anymore these days. It used to be those things would sit around forever. Now, total no bueno. Total no bueno. Yeah, I went there. Next up, I only got a couple of these. For Scratch and Dent, this is Lady Death, Scorched Earth, number two. This is the Elite, Elite Edition. Well, Mr. Green. Got a few of these left, folks. Don't delay. Get them today. All right. Let's see. What do I got here? Okay, I still got time. Woo! It's getting warm in here. All right, next up, Scorch Earth 2. This is the Skull Storm Edition. Very popular cover. Beautiful cover. Really great deal. I think these are like $2, $2.50. Really great value, folks. Ain't no catch, scratch, and dent. We'll make the dollar stretch. All right, let's see. Oh, oh. And I only got two of these. Blasphemy Anthem number one, Azure. By Mr. Mirhoff. This one just happens to be signed. Some of the scratch and dent stuff are signed. Nothing I can do about it because I can't remove it. But I made sure I put a COA in there. So I only got two of this one. One is signed, one is not. Um, we can even get this one signed. It's not a problem, guys. Easy peasy. All right. That's what I got in my last presentation on the catacombs. Boom. Lady Death. Blasphemy Anthem, Naughty Lady Satanus by Don McTague. I got some stock of these ready to go for you guys. Really great deal. This was a Kickstarter item. So get them today. I got some stock. It's all ready for you. These are the items I have picked out for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys liked what I uh, showed for you on Monday. And it definitely looked like folks were definitely into the uh, sniper cards. Boobies. <laughs> Let's see. God, you guys, your chatter is, is just so infectious. I, I just love reading your guys' comments. So I got 10 minutes. Folks, I'm going to show you just to re 
pressure for those who have not joined our Kickstarter. Well, I'm gonna show you some of these beautiful additions we got. Hi, Jimmy. That was Jimmy, everybody. Well, we just announced these earlier in the week. The Sylvester Legendary Medals. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I cannot wait to make these. God, that's stunning. It's really great to have a new image by Mr. Sylvester, that's for sure. So, some of the stuff we got coming up for the Kickstarter. Chaos Rules. We're finally getting uh, Volume 1 soft covers reprinted. But available are 1 and 2 in hardcover. We still have number 2 soft covers available, but... We are also doing Lady Death Rules Volume 3. This is the collected edition that has um, chapters 8, 9, and 10. So between these three chapters, there's your first 10. <laughs> I was going to say chapters twice. Chimney Cricket. Between these three volumes is the f 10 chapters of Lady Death. That is amazing. Three chapters in Volume 1, four chapters in Volume 2, and in the future there will be three in volume three. Amazing, guys. I'm so excited to see this. It's like these, these trades are great on a bookshelf. They're great reader copies. It's something you can loan out and don't have to worry about it getting damaged. It's a collected edition at a really great value. So this is some of the stuff you'll see on Kickstarter. So here is a How Do I Kickstarter legend just to kind of help you out. Create an account on kickstarter.com. Search for the latest Lady Death, Cataclysm Majest Cataclysmic Majesty. Excuse me. Click on the, dream by, uh, the green Back This Project button on the campaign. Or you can scroll through the preview of the reward tier. After you've selected the reward tier, uh, you'll be prompted to enter your payment information and select the appropriate info from the drop-down menus. Lastly, click the pledge button and you are all set. You will receive a confirmation email from um, after completing your pledge. You also can add on items by sending us a direct message on Kickstarter. Remember, your card is not charged until the end of the Kickstarter. So let's show off. These are the <clears throat> Cataclysmic Majesty. Let me zoom out a little bit. I forgot I zoomed in earlier. Eh, I'm not used to Apple phones. There we go. It's the commemorative print, not a commemorative. Look at that by Eric Powell. That is something, that hair. Hi, Eric, how are you? It's good to see you, man. That image is something I've never seen an artist do with Lady Death's ever. That is just, I'm going to say, I'm bringing back an old, that's bitchin', man. Bitchin'. Greg, how are you, man? It's good to see you. Check out these beautiful books. This is the soft cover. This is our homage edition. Hard cover. The cosplay cover that made me stammer and stutter and still does. Here's the hollow foil by Don McTagg. It's the naughty edition. The jeweled edition. I can't wait to see how this is finished. It's going to be excellent. Mega Foil Edition. This is a stunner, I bet. I can't wait to see this one done. This is going to be uh, super hot. This is going to be a super hot book. This is stunning. But probably this metallic cover, the Heavy Metal Edition, I cannot wait to make these books for you guys. That is beautiful. Over here is the metallic card sets. Time. Make sure I don't run out of time. Okay, still got a few more minutes. Check these out. These are the uh, <clears throat> Scarlet Metal Editions. And these are also just 13 of them, and they're going to be randomly placed into Kickstarter orders. Look at all these bonus items we unlocked. Um, quite a bit. Um, Here's some items unlocked for 3K, 300K. There's uh, Sworn Club Lanyard, Sworn Club VIP Laminate, Sworn Club Membership. Look at all those cards. People are going crazy for the cards. I need a vacation. I can't take a vacation. 
There is no vacations. I'll take one probably in June. These are the Mystery Envelope Editions. Beautiful pieces by some of the best artists in the industry. Mystery Envelopes. And, guys, you saw this. <laughs> you get to vote who will win in Lady Death or Hell Witch versus Lady Death. Wargasm. <laughs> this is cool. This is a really neat idea. So how you vote is mm -mm, uh, back Coffin Comics 2021 Kickstarter. Voting takes place during the survey period by following the 2021's comics Kickstarter campaigns. Catastrophic Majesty, La Muerta Onslaught. That'll be in May. Lady Death's Sacrificial <laughs> Annihilation. Wah, boy, that's going to be a tongue twister. I can already hear Miguel three times fast. <laughs> um, backers will receive an opportunity to cast their vote. Each backer receives one vote per campaign. Coffin Comics will tally all campaign votes. The character with the most votes will win Hell Witch versus Lady Death. Wargasm battle. Battle winner will be revealed when Coffin Comics publishes Hell Witch vs. Lady Death number one. Wargasm. <laughs> Stop it, Miguel. Stop it. <laughs> You're a goober. Oh, boy. So these are just, this is just a taste, guys. Look at all this amazing stuff we're doing on this Kickstarter campaign. It's amazing. We got 23 days left to go. It's been a lot of fun, guys. Um, I really enjoy the time I get to spend uh, helping out on Kickstarter, uh, meeting new fiends, new to the Sworn Nation. It's just a lot of fun, and uh, you guys are a beautiful group. You know that. You guys all know that. Most friendliest people I know. It's back here. So almost out of time. Everybody, why can't I get this on? Fiddlesticks. There we go. Fiddlesticks. I got it. Woo! No more fiddlesticks. <laughs> Just watching the uh, video as I try to get that on is pretty hilarious. Yes, Jay, you do need time off. Um, it's one thing I will say. Um, you work a lot, brother, and you deserve time off. You got a wonderful family to hang out with. Uh, hopefully they do give you some time off because you've definitely been busting your hump. I'm totally in agreement with uh, Eric on that. Thanks a lot, Miguel. Um, you're a jerk. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me here again. Um, this has actually been uh, our one year of doing these shows. Uh, we used to do them uh, only one on uh, Mondays when we used to be on the uh, other face group uh, where we used to do these on Mondays for an hour. So we've been doing these shows for just over a year. Uh, thank you, uh, everybody. I've met a lot of really great people uh, while doing these. Um, a lot of you guys I would consider friends. I can't wait for the um, upcoming con so we can see all you guys and thank you very much for being very welcome for me. Those of you who saw the first shows, I was a little nervous. Um, didn't know what the heck to do, but um, just reading what you guys were posting and the things you were saying and just uh, the camaraderie and the fun that is you guys, that is the Sword Nation. Uh, thank you. I've had a wonderful year doing it, and um, I will continue to do it as long as you guys will have me. So thank you very much. It has been my pleasure to present these things to you and update you on some of the stuff going on on Kickstarter and on the Coffin Comic Shop. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. You guys have a great rest of your week and have an even better weekend. Check out Kickstarter, Lady Death, Cataclysmic Majesty, the Elias Chatzua medal just went up. Only a hundred, limit two per household. So here's your chance. Get it. There's only a hundred. It ain't gonna last long. I'll see you guys on Monday. Hasta la bye bye, and I will talk to you later. And I was shooting at the ceiling. Ha ha ha!